Weightlifting is often associated with the world of bodybuilding, and the idea of gym junkies obsessed with how they look. While this is true for some, powerlifters are an alternate breed of gym goers who ignore aesthetics entirely and strive for one thing, to lift more than they ever have before. Adam Wern is a 19-year-old up-and-coming powerlifter from Sydney. At 19, he is in the junior age bracket and must compete with people as old as 23. Despite that, Adam ranks in the top three junior powerlifters in Australia and the top dozen in the world. There used to be a big rivalry between bodybuilders and powerlifters because they've got kind of contradicting goals. Bodybuilders wanted to look like they could lift a thousand kilos and powerlifters wanted to actually lift it but didn't care how they looked when they got there. I just wanted to look better, feel better, stuff like that. Uh, as I did, I fell in love with getting stronger. Although he is a powerlifter, Adam was first inspired to start hitting the gym after seeing high-profile bodybuilders in competitions. Here we have a few of the people that I've both met, looked up to, and some of which I've got to know on a personal level. Lane Norton, he's the one that I've looked up to most. He's a normal person, he lives a normal life, he's got a wife, he's got a family. I personally leave towards powerlifting. It's a lot of fun, you get to see progress on a much more regular basis. You can hit a new weight you lift in the gym each week, potentially. Whereas bodybuilding, it could be months before you can notice any big change to your physique. Adam's now been consistently going to the gym four to five times a week for five years, and it doesn't look like he'll be stopping anytime soon. At first, it was kind of, you know, I can't miss the gym, you know, I, I, I can't let myself do that. Now, the idea of missing the gym for a week or two is just kind of foreign. The main sacrifice is time. You know, getting up early when you have to work around things, cancelling other plans. If you want to get to the top, then you just got to basically be willing to sacrifice attending other events. Powerlifting competitions require competitors to lift the highest possible weight they can for only one repetition. There are three main exercises, known as the big three. The bench press, the squat, and the deadlift. The deadlift is a much... It's definitely a high-risk exercise, however... Along with that comes a lot more reward. There's a once you've got the technique down, there's a lot of a lot less thinking that goes into it. So you can kind of just go into it as eager as you'd like and pull out it from the ground with all the force you can, as opposed to having to think about a lot of the technicalities that are involved with the other two lifts. Surprisingly, Adam's other big hobby isn't so active. When his hands aren't wrapped around a barbell, you'll often find them wrapped around a mouse and keyboard instead. Did you pick up something that you can develop a skill at? Weight training or the game. I mainly play a game called League of Legends, you've probably heard of it. Mainly associated with nerds. In games where you have to practice a lot to develop the skill seem to interest me the most and also a lot of my friends that I know that are into powerlifting as well. Just because it's something that you need to ritualistically practice, you don't get me wrong, not everyone's into it. Different people do definitely find different similar means of practicing ritualistic activities. An important part of Adam's training is his diet. In addition to taking a number of quite legal supplements like creatine and multivitamins, he also pays close attention to his macros. Macros is short for macromolecules, which includes fats, carbohydrates, and protein. You get designated certain macronutrient targets. For me, there's 650 grams of carbs, 240 grams of protein, and 115 grams of fats. So the aim is to hit these targets within five grams of each other. Indirectly, when you're aiming for macronutrient targets, you're aiming for calorie targets, so you get to maintain weight or change it, alter it as you see fit. Weighing foods, measuring stuff like rice, as I just did, will help you understand how much, or how many carbohydrates, protein, and fats are in different foods. Rice, being a main carbohydrate source, decided to cook that up right now. Um, Proteins I get a lot from sausages, steaks, things like that, protein shakes. As time goes on you realise that this has to be a lifestyle. It can't be something that can't be shifted because life constantly changes. But maintaining flexibility and relaxation is one of the most important things if you're going to be consistent. 
Per day I tend to eat three to four meals, uh, some smaller than others, others larger ones. As the day goes on I tend to eat bigger meals, just purely for convenience purposes. Lifting's taught me a lot about you know, life in general, uh, maintaining discipline, maintaining consistency, things like that. I can be transferred from opposite ends of the spectrum, from weightlifting all the way to video gaming and everything in between. <laughs>